Hi, Jacob, Unisport Web TV. And on today's menu, we have our review of the Nike Magista Obra. Now, the Magista has built up quite some buzz. So today, we're going to take a look at if this boot can actually revolutionize the way we think about football boots. So if you want to know how the Magista Obra performs on the pitch, then you better stay right here with me. So let's look at the fit side of the boot because here Nike wanted to eliminate all the distractions on the Magista and so introduced the fly knit upper and the dynamic fit color. Now because of this new construction some of you might be worried that the Magista is tough to put on but luckily it's not as hard as it seems because basically you just gotta loosen the laces up a bit and then pull the boot on like a regular sock and okay you gotta pull a bit harder but you get the deal. And once you get the boot on, you really feel that the fit is something else. Now, because of this weave fly knit material and the dynamic fit color, you get a pretty close tight and really personal fit in the Magista. And it's basically like it's made to follow the shape of your foot. And also Nike have applied a black inner lining, which is slightly padded. So you get a very comfortable feeling wrapping around your foot while also making the Magista feel a little bit more solid than you would actually think a knitted boot is. Now, the awesome thing about Flyknit is that it allows Nike to actually remove the tongue on the Magisa, which makes the boot really hug your foot uber tight all over, basically wrapping it like a sock would. And further enhancing this feeling are the Brio cables that go from the sole plate into the eye state. And when you're pulling the laces tight, you can really feel that the boot is wrapping your foot like a sock and providing lockdown. And the cool thing with the fact that there is laces on the Magista, there didn't need to be because the upper would still fit you well. But because of the laces, you can really pull the boot tight and adjust yourself how tight you want it to be. Now, even though the Brio cables work really well in keeping your foot on the plate, I was looking for just a tiny bit more lockdown in the Magista, simply because my foot tended to move just a little bit when changing directions with a lot of force. And I mean, it's no big deal, but it's just something I noticed. Size-wise, I'd say the Magista is true to size. I went with my usual size 40 and the fit is pretty much perfect, both length and width-wise. But the coolest thing about the Magista is that the Geo 13 last the boot is built on will accommodate both a slim and a wide foot, especially because the fly knit material will stretch to fit the wide footed players. Now the thing that really sets the Magista apart from any other boot I've ever tried is the dynamic fit color. And basically it makes the Magista feel more like a part of your foot than any other football boot out there. But to be honest, I don't think that physically it makes your lower leg and your foot move more in unison than in say any other football boot. The thing is, it feels like that and you get that sensation mainly because of the close seamless fit like there basically are no distractions between these parts of your leg and your foot because the magista is made to help you move in tight spaces it's equipped with a p-backs and nylon sole plate with mostly conical studs and also a few bladed studs. Now you can actually feel that the nylon frame is pretty stiff and responsive making the Magista feel like it's reacting very well to your little bursts of speed and combining that with the fact that Nike removed the insole board you're really close to the ground and can transfer energy from your foot to the sole plate and then ultimately the ground. The Magista also made me feel a bit more free in my movements. And after thinking about it, I came to the conclusion that it's because Nike made the sole plate without the mechanical flex, which basically means that my foot is not forced to bend in the same area and the same way every time. And when you combine this with the stiffness and the stability from the nylon frame, you actually get a very nice combination where you feel you can basically burst into any direction you want at any time. Grip wise, the Magista does what it's supposed to, which is help you turn on tight spaces, mainly thanks to the conical studs that really give you a seamless motion through the ground when you're turning on the spot. And I really like it in that aspect.
Now, as we know, Magista is made for the creative midfielder. And as a midfielder, you need as much control on the ball as you can possibly get. And to do this, Nike have equipped the Flyknit upper with these Brio cables that create this honeycomb-like pattern. And that is one, to give you more stability, but also two, to give you more friction on the ball. And we know that more friction means more grip, and more grip means a bit more control. But the question is, how does it work? And yeah, it actually works pretty well. And the touch in the Magista is quite an interesting combination. Mostly because on one hand, you get a pretty close to the ball feel, thanks to the thin flyknit upper. But then again, on the other hand, it's also a bit soft and slightly padded. Mostly thanks to this slightly cushioned inner lining. So it's a bit of a mix that's very, very interesting. Now, it's not a total barefoot-like feel, but having said that, you're still a lot closer to the ball in the Magista than in other boots with similar amounts of grip. When it comes to shooting, the Magista is pretty no-nonsense. There are no issues getting under the ball, and because you have no tongue, you really get a nice, clean striking surface all over the upper. But one of the best things when striking the ball to me is the inner lining because again it takes away a bit of the sting when you really strike the ball hard and it makes it a right pleasure because the padding is just the right combination where you can still feel a lot but it doesn't hurt that much when you really put your foot through the ball. When it comes to the Brio cables they're also going to give you a bit of friction when you're striking the ball whether you're striking it with the inside of your foot or the instep. And don't get me wrong, it's not going to turn you into the Swerve Master, but it's still a nice little tool. So, the final verdict on the Magista Obra is that it's, well, <laughs> it's really, really awesome. And the fit is one of the best I have ever tried in a football boot, simply because it fits your foot so closely that it's actually hard to describe you have to try it. And to put it into perspective, when I went back to a conventional football boot, I really missed the close sensation of the Flyknit and the dynamic fit color. It's that good. But what do you think about the Magista Opera and is it something for you? Well, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have questions, well, that's the way to go as well. Because this was all I had for you for today. I'll see you later on in News for Web TV. Signing off, cheerio. So, is it hard to clean the Magista? Well, for the part that has Nike skin with ACC on it, water and dirt will come right off when you wipe it with a cloth. But the dynamic fit color and the tongue part is exposed. The flyknit is exposed. So it tends to get a bit more dirty and you have to put a bit more effort into cleaning it off with a soft brush. And the dirt is gonna stay a bit there so you can see it on the color, but that's kind of the way it is, I guess.